what's special about these horses is first they're a different breed for the university to be breeding. They belong to a general category called warm bloods. And their, their expertise is in English competition, so hunter jumpers and three day event and the kind of activities that you see at the Olympics. The mare, Moravia, is actually a French breed of mare called the Selle Francais, but she was born in Czechoslovakia, and she was imported to the United States from Czechoslovakia as a show horse, and after her show life was over, she was donated to the university. And the stallion was given to us a, a year before we got the mare. He's an Irish sport horse, born in Ireland, did most of his competition in Ireland and then was imported into the United States for showing. He stood stud on the East Coast for a number of years and then was donated to the university about three years ago. We thought with her pedigree and background and our stallion's pedigree and background, we would have a chance of an offspring that could be the best the university has ever produced. And that's exactly what happened. There was a bit of a challenge to get the mare in foal. She decided she wanted to be a show horse for a bit longer and didn't want to be a mother. But once we finally did get her pregnant, the entire pregnancy went without a hitch. She was born perfect in every way. What horsemen look at is not so much the size or even the color, although we got great color on the foal. We, we look for the bone structure and she's got just gorgeous bone structure, which translates into beautiful movement for this category of horse, that's what you're looking for is the type of movement they're capable of. And even as a very tiny foal, she's showing us that Olympic caliber of movement. Well, our involvement with the project as students was for my equine science class. We had to do full watch, was, which um, constitutes a, a staying up for 12 hours and watching um, cameras of the mare to see how far along she's um, doing in her labor and pregnancy and keeping tabs um, on when the foal will be born. So there's um, always a chance of uh, seeing a birth or even if you don't, you know you're involved in the process, even if you don't get to witness the, life of the birth of the foal. One of the, the signature qualities of the SIU Equine Science Program is that the students in the program are extremely involved in every aspect of running the horse farm. So they're involved all the way from the day-to-day -day care of the horses to help with the breeding process. They're here for the foaling. They get very involved and, and very attached to all of these horses, but particularly the foals. 